Pisces, welcome to your April 1st through the 15th love reading. Crowning your first week, you have Soulmate, which is clarified by the Nine of Wands and the Lovers. For your second week, you have New Love, which is clarified by the Nine of Swords and Three of Cups. So, there's two nines here. This represents a completion. And because of the cards that are present, I'm seeing this as being a completion of anxiety, a completion of pain, a completion of past pain, past hurt. Someone's wounded and they're completing this cycle out. They're healing themselves. Somebody's loving themselves more. Um, however, there is still anxiety present in these two weeks, but I feel like this is like the very tail end of it. Does that make sense? Um, some of you guys could be having bad dreams. about your lover cheating on you. What I'm seeing with the Nine of Wands though is Pisces, a lot of you guys are building up these walls around yourself and I know these are wands but let's just pretend that they're walls. Um, you're building up these walls around yourself and you have the, the tools to break these down. Only you do, not your lover, not your mom, not your dad, you. Um, you've built these walls up so you have the power to, to break them down. Um, and it is because of anxiety. The anxiety has caused you to build up these walls around yourself. And, and, and it's almost like you've kind of become stagnant in love. Some of you guys have become stagnant in love and it is because these walls, these wands are built up around you. Because you're afraid to get hurt again. Some of you guys are stressing so bad that you're not sleeping and you have headaches during the day because you're not sleeping. Some of you guys are blocking out a soulmate. You're blocking out a soulmate. And this person is your soulmate. This card literally says, yes, this is your soulmate. And it's clarified by the fucking lover's card. If that's not enough to tell you that this is your soulmate, I don't know what is. Um... Yeah, this person that you're dealing with is definitely strong soulmate energy. They could have put you in a third party situation. Um, that's kind of like the underlying energy. Here is this reconciliation with someone who has cheated on you or you have cheated on them. With this new love, some of you guys could literally be meeting someone new for you single Pisceans. Um, but I'm also seeing this as there's new love with a past person. Just because the Three of Cups is present, please don't mind my dog. Um, but yeah, there, there's new love with a past person for some of you. And this is sparking fear in a lot of you. Because you do love this person a lot. But it's like this anxiety and this hurt is keeping you from letting them in. I feel like some of you guys, your angels are trying to tell you to let this person in. To open your heart up. But you're so scared of this happening again. Some of you guys, if, you, if you're single right now and you're looking, you could be possibly meeting a Gemini while you're out partying. And this person stirs your romantic feelings very quick because they are a soulmate. And you'll know them when you see them. It's one of those things that like you're gonna... They might notice you actually before you notice them. Especially if you're a female. I'm seeing that they might notice you before you notice them. But let's clarify. Clarify the Nine of Wands, please, for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For April 1st through the 15th. The Eight of Pentacles. I'm seeing a lot of you guys are going to slowly be breaking down these walls through reassurance. When I see the Eight of Pentacles in a love spread, it makes me think reassurance. That's the first word that comes to my head because you have to repeat this action over and over again. So reassurance is consisting of repetition. Repeatedly telling someone, hey, I'm not going to cheat on you. 
hey, I love you, hey, you're the only one. Somebody is having to give someone reassurance because there's these walls that have been built up. And slowly over time, this will break those walls down. Someone could be getting a little frustrated over this reassurance though, but they love you. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be getting a lot of reassurance from this person. Especially if you're a Pisces that has fire in your chart. Page of Pentacles. What did I say? A lot of you guys are dealing with an earth sign with possible Gemini in their chart. Oh, sorry, Page of Wands, not Page of Pentacles. He's wearing green, <laughs> so I automatically thought Pentacles. Um, so yeah, some of you guys are dealing with another fire sign, but some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign. What I'm seeing here with the Page of Wands is there is a new beginning present, but someone's like walking on their last leg, pretty much. Somebody's walking on a tightrope <laughs> because, because they fucked up in the past. Some of you guys could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also seeing there being messages coming in from a distance with the Page of Wands, and these messages could bring anxiety for some of you. Could be from a past person, could also be from a third party. Um, I think Aquarius had a very similar message in their reading, so if it resonates, go check out Aquarius's reading because they did have a message coming in from a third party. And I did see them being very cold about this. But that, that doesn't have to be for all of you. Um, I'm seeing this as also there being a new beginning and someone's worried about a new beginning. Somebody's having a lot of anxiety about a new beginning. Because they feel like they have to tiptoe. Somebody feels like they have to tiptoe. And it could bring them anxiety. Lovers, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oops. The Magician. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Like I said, strong Earth energy. Um... Someone's trying to handle too many things at once while trying to handle this connection. They've got a lot going on. I'm also seeing this as... You have too many people looking at this connection. You have too many people putting their input and it's causing confusion, it's causing chaos in your mind. There's too many people telling you what to do, Pisces. Listen to your own heart, because it's going to tell you the right thing. Trust your own inner guidance, because you have all the tools to manifest the perfect love that you desire. All you need is your own inner guidance, guys, because I'm seeing a lot of people. There could be like four or five people here that are giving their input and it's causing confusion, it's causing chaos. If you're dealing with a Virgo, there's a lot of people telling this person how to live their love life. And it's causing confusion. If you're dealing with a Virgo, some of you guys got your eye on this Virgo, like, you're keeping an eye on this person. Because they possibly went and dipped their toes in the, somewhere else with this third party. So it's like now you've got your eye on them and you're ready to strike should they fuck up again. Clarify this Three of Cups, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of you like not being able to sleep, so you decide to go out, and then boom, you meet someone. And it's like your angels weren't letting you sleep because they wanted you to meet this person. It's like a divine timing type thing. This 
could be happening within the next two to three weeks. Ace of Swords. Truth or clarity about a third party situation is coming out in the second week of April. Somebody's going to be cutting off any anxieties. They're walking away from any anxieties. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this person, or just another air sign, this person is going to lay down the truth or you will be laying down the truth to this person. Because there's been this vine of lies that's been growing, and, or not even just lies, but like uncertainty, that's been growing and growing and growing, and somebody wants to cut that out. Somebody wants to cut out um, any anxiety and any lies. Somebody wants to bring clarity on a third party situation. I'm also seeing this as someone cutting off a third party. Somebody severing a connection with a third party. Like I said, guys, this is air. Go watch Aquarius' reading if it resonates. They have a third party coming back, trying to connect with them, but they are severing this connection before it even happens. So some of you guys are dealing with another... Or some of, yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. This person could have possibly put you in a third party situation before, um, and they are going to be cutting out this third party. Or they're going to be giving you clarity on a third party situation, trying to bring you comfort. Somebody's doing this out of comfort, like trying to ease your anxieties. I'm also seeing there being a lot of, please ignore my dogs guys, they are fucking annoying. <laughs> they're weenie dogs so they bark all the damn time. Um, but I'm also seeing this as like somebody is trying to Cut out any negative thinking. This could be you, Pisces. I feel like you're trying to cut out any negative thinking. Some of you guys are also trying to cut out drinking as well, is what I'm seeing. Maybe some of you guys had a really bad experience while drinking, um, and now you, you guys are choosing to cut it out. And maybe, maybe some of you guys were drinking, and it caused some cheating to happen or something. I'm seeing alcohol being an influence on a third-party situation, and somebody's cutting out drinking because of that. Let me go ahead and pull you guys an advice card for these next couple of weeks. No, that doesn't count. What is the advice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next two-week period in April? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, guys, some of you are worried about a third party and you're this close to walking away. Somebody's this close to walking away because of anxiety. But pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the signs. If the signs are telling you to walk away, then walk the fuck away. You know, cut this person out. Because some of you guys are dealing... If you're dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's very manipulative. Um... And maybe the signs are trying to tell you that this person's manipulative, but you're not seeing it because you're so desperate for a new love. You're so desperate for this love situation. Some of you guys are, are with this person out of desperation, and that's never good. That's never good. Um, it's like some of you guys don't want to be alone, so that's why you're with this person. You would rather be with this person and fucking miserable getting cheated on and shit than be alone, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> And that's not all of you, but that, that is definitely some of you. Um, but the signs are definitely cautioning you, so they can either ease your anxieties, or they can make you walk away, like from this person. But that's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. If you have any questions, please DM me or email me. If you'd like to book a personal reading, please DM me or email me. All of my information is in the description box below, and I'll see you guys in two weeks. Take care, Pisces. Bye-bye.